The Nintendo 3DS and Wii U online services are now getting discontinued on April 8th, 2024. And that will be the last day that we will be able to play games online with these systems. And it makes me sad as the most fond memories of my online journey were on these systems. We're gonna go ahead and first talk about the Nintendo 3DS and some memories that I had when it came to using its online services. It was more so to do with the ambassador program, funny enough. The ambassador program, for those of you that don't know, was a way of Nintendo to say they're sorry to early adopters who purchased the system before the initial price cut. They went ahead and gave us a lot of classics and also exclusively to us, Game Boy Advance games for us to download. I remember because during the time of this, I did not have Wi-Fi at my house and so I had to go to my local McDonald's or go to a friend's house in order for me to install my games and just wait and chill there. It was pretty funny um, that I went to that extent for me to get Get these games on my new Nintendo on my Nintendo 3DS. This was back when I was around 14 years old and it wasn't until I turned 15 or 16 when we finally got Wi-Fi. Other memories that I had for the 3DS was playing a lot of Mario Kart 7, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, and the big one Animal Crossing New Leaf. I remember being given thousands of bells and as well as hanging out and trading items with other people that I met using the Miiverse service or in other forums. It was a lot of fun, but that honestly is it when it comes to my 3DS online experience. The 3DS was more so a single player experience when it came to me. Transferring over now, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Wii U on the other hand. This at one point was my only game console that I had and the online experience that I had was immaculate. Call of Duty, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Wii U, Assassin's Creed 3, and 4's online mode that I played a lot of online for this system. The main ones that I played a lot of were, for sure, Call of Duty, Mario Kart 8, and Super Smash Bros. This, to me, was, in a way, my prime online years. Black Ops 2 on here was so much fun, especially having its own Miiverse page for me to talk and group up with new people and just mess around in it. I remember getting all the way up to, I believe, Prestige 6, almost Prestige 7, while on my PS3 account, I was actually already Prestige Master with diamond guns and everything, but on the Wii U, I just had gold guns and everything, and I just remembered playing a lot of zombies, uh, normal TDM, online multiplayer, and as well, just having fun and creating my own custom lobbies with a lot of other random friends online, and just playing game modes like Michael Myers, uh, Simon Says, Predator, stuff like that, Hide and Seek, it was just a lot of fun and a blast. The next game was Mario Kart 8, which was a blast just destroying randoms online. And, as, and also, like I mentioned, joining groups to do some custom races was also fun. Now, the big one for me when it came to the Wii U in the extent of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS, the main big one for me was Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo Wii U. Now, this is what I consider my prime when it came to Smash Brothers. I remember playing this religiously and as well as seeing a lot of compilations online of amazing combos and learning to do them so I can destroy people online in for glory mode. This was the most fun I ever had in a Smash Brothers game and why in my opinion Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS holds a special place in my heart because of how into it I was and just as well as some of my friends were. I have made so many memories playing on the Wii U via online play, more, than, more so than my 3DS, but that doesn't mean that I love my 3DS less. The Wii U also just had an amazing app known as Miiverse that really just had so many Nintendo fans communicate in a way with each other that PlayStation and Xbox couldn't. Though this is also considered one of Nintendo's dark past, it still had a beacon of light that made it all so better. It's very sad for me to say that this is truly now an end of an era when it comes to gaming here for me. The 3DS was my very first system that I ever pre-ordered, and the Wii U at a time was the only system home console that I had that I could play online with. So these two systems, even though they were concerted and part of one of Nintendo's darkest points of their company's lifetime, amazing to see still Nintendo give a pretty decent amount of support to both of these systems. I'd say more so to the 3DS as that was their main cash cow that was actually helping them. But the Wii U was is just a, such an underrated console that I feel like it deserves a lot more love and appreciation that it, than it gets. This is considered one of the Nintendo's dark past, but it still had a beacon of light that made it all so better. And that, in my opinion, was Miiverse.